been uh, no just the just for your, my body period. You know, two summer leagues was kind of grueling, but it was a great experience overall. And uh, I just been, was working out, just trying to maintain you know uh, my body, make sure I'm eating the right things and doing the things the right way, just so I could you know because now this is a job, so you got to do everything the right way, you know, especially with your body. Uh, so it's been great. Some has been good. Uh, heading into training camp, what do you want to work on leading up to that? What, what parts of the game do you want to add or improve? Anything specific that you're really focusing on? Uh, just, just always maintaining consistency. Uh, my mid-range game, you know, I like the fact that I was coming down, coming off some pin downs in Orlando and Vegas and knocking down that mid-range shot. So I just want to be consistent at that, find a niche and just you know, get great at it. Uh, you know, in this league, you have to, you know, you, it's good to be good at everything, but you want to be great at at least one thing. So I need to find that and uh, you know, keep working on it. What are, you, what are you most looking forward to at training camp? I mean, you're going to be getting to know the older players, the veterans, and, and um, you know, getting a chance to, to prove prove yourself against the, those caliber of players? Yeah, definitely. Just getting to meet the veterans, bond with the guys, um, you know, learning from from everybody. Not just Paul Pierce who plays, you know, my position, but learning from a guy like KG and learning from around the room. They, they've just been around the game. Keon Boone, they've been around for so long that I can learn from each and every one of those guys and, you know, just be like a sponge and uh, take everything in that they're telling me. And, um, and, and while still using my own skill set and things like that, but listen to those guys who only do positive things for me in the future. Have you talked to Paul yet at all? I haven't spoken to him yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely uh, looking forward to you know just picking his brain a little bit, finding out some things that uh, you know I can learn about from him. Uh, and it's going to be good. Do you think it's going to be intimidating at all going to training camp with these guys, uh, just as a rookie and then off the bat like that? Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it happens to every rookie, but at the same time, we're, we're teammates now, so I don't think I'll be too intimidated. If anything, I'll be I'm more excited. You know, uh, I'm, I'm not intimidated at all. I'm just going to look forward to going there and working hard and learning things from Doc and the coaching staff and the players. What do you think your role can be on this team? Um, you know, if, if you have a successful training camp and make the roster, what do you think, you know, what do you feel like you can contribute to, to this team? Definitely just uh, coming coming off the bench and you know being a you know some type of a spark you know uh, rebounding the ball just being a high motor guy for the team off the bench you know, whether it be five minutes whether it be ten just coming off and doing you know what I do best rebound the ball try to you know excel in transition and things like that. You and Jared got along pretty well, so you know you're training uh, summer league to Bond. I know you know Fab very well, obviously, yeah. from playing with him. But a good relationship with Jared now, just yeah. being their fellow rookie. Yeah, yeah. Jared and I, you know, we've been real cool. We're both we both share, you know, the same kind of personality. We're pretty silly guys, and uh, you know, I've gotten over the fact that Ohio State beat us uh, you know, <laughs> in the tournament. Uh, so yeah, we're we're all getting along. Three rookies are getting along. Really well. Does he give you grief about that? No, not at all. We don't bring it up. We did <laughs> once. We did once, but that was it. We never brought it up again. And a, a lot of people say that you have first round talent and the talent in this draft was from, you know, from 10 to where you were drafted was, you know, anybody, you could pick anybody and you get a comparable player, I guess. But do, do you have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder going forward? That uh, not necessarily a chip, I want to call it that, but just the fact that, uh, you know, I've heard that before and, you know, deep down I knew I was, but I couldn't ask for a better situation to be placed in. You know, like I said, it's a first-class organization, and I get a chance to learn from some, some you know, future Hall of Famers, so there's definitely no shame in that. I'm definitely not disappointed either.